Dinosaurs Alive? Our source show in the first page of one of the translated documents it contains, the focus of our interest, the location of our quote. The missionaries have observed in passing along a forest the track of an animal which they have never seen, but it must be monstrous. The prints of its claws are seen on the earth and formed an impression on it of about three feet in circumference. In observing the posture and disposition of the footsteps, they concluded that it did not run in this part of its way, and that it carried its claws at the distance of seven or eight feet one from the other. Proyart, Leving, Bonaventure, History of Loango, Kakongo, and Other Kingdoms in Africa, in John Pinkerton a general collection of the best and most interesting voyages and travels in all parts of the world. London, printed for Longman, Hurst, Rees, Orme, and Brown, Paternoster Row, and Cadell and Davies, in the Strand, 1814, volume 16, page 557. For those with a knowledge of French, the original French source, shown the first page of the document. Flip in forward to the sixth chapter, page 31, Des Animaux, of Animals. Flip in forward a few more pages, the location of our quote. Les missionnaires ont observé en passant le long d'une forêt la piste d'un animal qui n'ont pas vu, mais qui doit être monstrueux. Les traces de ses griffes s'apercevoient sur la terre et y font moi une empreinte d'environ trois pieds de circonférence. En observant la disposition de ses pas, on a reconnu qu'il ne courra pas dans ce endroit de son passage, et qu'il potoie ses pattes à la distance de sept à huit pieds les unes des autres. Proyard, Lévin, Bonaventure, Histoire de Loango, Kakongo et autres royaumes d'Afrique, Paris, C.P. Burton and N. Crapard. Lyon, Brousset, Pontus, 1776, pages 38 through 39.